YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's your boy, Original Dogman, John Castro. Um, this is going to be another tag video. And um, why am I making so many? Why do I like tag videos? Why do I like to do tag videos? I'm going to tell you why. Because YouTube's algorithm doesn't allow us to search and see new reviewers. And there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us down in this top tier fragrance family of Fragcom. There's a lot of us reviewers that we don't even hear or see in years. Some of these people have been on YouTube for, for at least a year or two, and I've never heard of them. But lately, I've been finding a lot of these people in this community, and I'm like, wow, how come I haven't heard of you earlier? Because YouTube's algorithm and liberal bias doesn't allow us to see these, these new fragrance reviewers. So we have to connect by other means. One of those other means is either through live streams or through tag videos. Tag videos is one of the most effective ways to meet new reviewers, make new friends, um, acquaint yourself with people who are like mine and have the same passion as you do. Passions, not just one, you know, different hobbies. Maybe you can connect with someone who likes to hunt or fish or do art or sing. You know, I've seen a fragrance reviewer who has a, a sound set mix-up. You know, they like to dabble with, with music. Um, Killer Frags, you know. And there's another dude in here, I forget his name, R. Ruga or something like that. All right, he's a fragrance reviewer. Um, but he also dabbles in music. So this is a, a, a way for us to connect without the bullshit of YouTube. Without that liberal left bullshit. You know, that censorship bullshit. So... I love tag videos because I love watching new reviewers talk about fragrances. I don't just like listening to myself talk all the time or listening to the same motherfuckers talk all the time like Steven from Red Lessons and with his same fucking monotonous ass tone, reflex ass tone and every fucking fragrance review that he throws up it all sounds the same. You know, everything smell, Mr. Everything Smells Good reviewer. That's, I don't, I don't like that. I don't appreciate that dishonesty and that bullshit like that. So, I enjoy watching other reviewers. I enjoy finding and discovering other reviewers. This is why I do tag videos. So, in this tag video, this is going to call be called <clears throat> Four from the OTS. And, you know, I have a lot of tag videos up here that I could pop out like that. And I'm just holding back. I'm holding back because I want to take my time and do this. <clears throat> So this one is four from the OTS, all right, which means fresh out the shower. Um, so if you do this tag, and I'm going to mention the people who I want in this tag because I think that they have potential and they have the potential to reach YouTubers who I've never heard of. Um, and one of these YouTubers is someone that I am going to, to, um, to advocate for which is Cedric C. I've seen his first video today. I only seen one video today, but he only has six subscribers. So as a member of this community, I'm gonna help someone who I know needs help. And this is not me bragging or anything like that. I'm just showing you the love that we can have in this community and share. That's just that. So I'm gonna talk about the fragrances, then I'll do the the five tags that I have six tags now six tags I'm gonna tag some people in okay so this one is called fresh um, fragrances from the OTF okay tag video my first fragrance I'm gonna talk about and remember these fragrances have to smell good all right and by your by your subjective opinion they must really be invigorating as soon as you come out the shower and you spray it it gives you a sense of something a sense of, of um, comfortability, a sense of wholeness, a sense of freshness, all right? These fragrances, you can't say fresh out the shower, Bentley Intense for Man. You don't wear this fresh out the shower. Come on now. Maybe some of you do. I don't know. But I wouldn't wear this shit fresh out the shower. You know, it's too potent. It's too strong. I wouldn't wear this fresh out the shower. This is a rum accord. This is a leather accord. This is a dress up accord. This isn't fresh out the shower. Or I wouldn't hit you with Armani Cold Profumo fresh out the shower. This is too strong, you know. I wouldn't hit you with like 
with like a Halloween Man X, a coffee scent fresh out the shower. That's the morning fragrance, you know? You wear that in the morning for the daytime or right before lunch or some shit. Or you go into Starbucks and get you a cup of coffee in the morning. So, these fragrances have to mean something. You have to feel something when you come straight out the shower. I'm going to give you four of mine. I'm going to give you three, three, one cheapy, one designer, one niche, and one uh, honorable mention. All right? So, <clears throat> fresh out the shower number one, Vera Wang. The scent lasts about an hour. About an hour or maybe more to even becoming a skin set. It dies down in the first first five minutes you spray it. Right out the shower, you get this bamboo. Bamboo accord. It's rich. It's creamy. It's man, this is a fucking awesome scent. Vera Wang. I hate to talk about this, but this is what Will Smith wears. Now I don't like Will Smith, but the motherfucker wears this and you know, it does have style. It does have, you know, this sophistication to it. That fresh bamboo. Just pretend like you're in a bamboo woods and you take open a bamboo and you break it open and you smell it. Right? Green bamboo. Pop it open. Smell it. But it's sweet. Like you want to eat the bamboo. This is what this is. So when you put this on right out the shower, you know what you're getting. Fresh, you're walking through a bamboo bamboo forest, and you smell a bamboo, and you smell some kind of sweet scent or something fruity, some kind of fruit that's growing in there, almost citrusy. It's a fresh, a really good fresh out the shower scent, and it makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel really clean. It makes you feel wanted. It makes you feel sexy. This is one of my OTFs or OTS fragrances. So whenever I get out get out the shower, this is a good scent to put on. And it does last, I give it about three, four hours. The longevity sucks. Some people say they moisturize your skin and it, it lasts longer. I can believe that. But you know it is what it is. This is a great 1000 percent great OTS fragrance. Right? Out the shower. My next out the shower fragrance is Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. This is a great out the shower right before bedtime or right before you get into the bed with your girl. This is a sexy fragrance. This is the sexiest fragrance throughout the entire frag com and throughout this whole entire fucking world that I know of. That is the best sex fragrance ever. A lot of people say this doesn't last on their skin. That is true. This doesn't last on my skin. But when I spray this on my sweater, oh my God, it lasts days. I spray this on my sweater. Tomorrow I will be smelling this on my sweater. Spray this on your clothes and your shirt and tell me this motherfucker doesn't last days. I will make a video tomorrow for y'all with this. I will tell you if I still smell it. I promise you I will still smell it. This lasts long on clothes. <clears throat> this lasts long on your bed sheets and your pillows. Oh yeah. Dolce and, the one, Dolce and Gabbana, the one EDP, lasts fucking days on your clothes. I shit you not, people. You will smell this on your clothes. On your skin, it dissipates. I don't know what it, why it does that. It doesn't last long on the skin. But on the clothes and the sweater, you'll be smelling this shit tomorrow. I promise you, you'll be smelling this shit tomorrow. And this is a great fragrance fresh out the shower. Any of you guys know who has Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP, this is a sex fragrance. This was created by two men. Two gay men. And this is a great fragrance. Alright, the next one that's fresh out the shower. So this was my, my cheapy. This one was my designer. And actually, Vera Wang is as close to a designer as Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. This, this one cost me like 22 bucks, Vera Wang, when I bought it. I don't know how much it's running now, but 22 bucks on FragranceNet.com. This one was about 60 bucks. The best price that I could get it on was off of Amazon at the time 
for 60 bucks. I believe it was 55. And this was a good deal. This Vera Wang, 20 something, 22 I believe. Great. And this is like as good as any designer can get as far as the scent is uh is is um added in. Um as far as the scent goes. The next one is a niche. Many people may not consider this house a niche, but goddammit, or GOT, goddammit, this is niche. Mancera's Black Gold. This is the best fresh out the shower scent that I have. This isn't this isn't sexual, but it can be. It can be. But this is more just fresh, invigorating, fresh out the shower scent. Give you energy. Straight up. So, if you come home from a hard day's work, get into the damn shower, get out the shower, and spray, and you're tired, right? You come home from a hard day's work, you're fucking tired as hell, you don't have any energy at all, you go into the shower, you take a hot shower, you come out, and you still feel tired. Spray this bitch. Spray this motherfucker on your skin. Oh my God, this will wake your ass up. This will give you an extra added boost of energy. An OTS out this world. A fresh out the shower. This one here is a fresh, really good fragrance out the shower. That lavender and jasmine, you smell it, it makes your brain go, wow. It makes your body go, woo, gives you chills. This is how good this is. A lot of people don't know how good this is. And I told Kyle from Fragrance Adventure, I was like, look, dude, buy this, blind buy this. If you don't like it, I will buy it from you because God knows that this is a backup bottle worthy like a motherfucker. I don't want to spray this. This is how good this is. But if I get a backup bottle, oh, I'll spray this a lot every fucking day. You guys know how it is. Oh, shit, my juice is low almost. It's getting there. Look how much I, sp I sprayed of that. That is a lot of damn juice gone. And I just got this like a couple weeks ago. Man, Sarah's Black Gold. Man, this is a great OTS fragrance. Fresh out the damn shower. Man, Sarah's Black Gold. So, that's three. Now, my honorable mention, and I have to include this because this is one of my favorites. But this is more than just a fresh out the shower fragrance. This is an all-time favorite of mine, and you guys should already know what it is. Club Denny Wheat Intense for Man. Great fresh out the shower fragrance. Citrusy, smoky, citrusy and smoky, birchy, is to the point where it smells pineapple. -y. Club Denny Wheat Intense for Man. Now, if any of you say that this isn't a good fresh out the shower fragrance, you're out of your motherfucking mind. This is one of the best fresh out the shower fragrances. My girl loves spraying this on the bed. She loves spraying this in the room. She loves smelling this. This is her favorite fucking fragrance. My bottle. Oh shit. Damn it. This is my first fucking batch and I let her spray this one. Why the fuck did I let her spray this batch? This is the real lemony batch, smoky lemony batch, and I didn't want her to spray this one. Damn, and I gave it to her too, man. I shouldn't have did, shouldn't have done that. I knew I should have gave her this one. Let me see. I hope it's this one. Yeah, I should have gave her this one. Damn it. See, this one, this one here is um equal birch, equal lemon. This one's more lemon. I like this one. Uh, a little bit more than this one. I like I like them both a lot, but this one is more lemony smoky. This one is more equal all parts. That one back there, which I have up there, is more birchy. I like all three of them just about the same. But that one was my first one, and that bottle's going to be running real low, so I have to hold off to save that spray. This one. This one's lemon, birchy, smoky, all equal parts. I got one that's more birchy and one that's more lemony smoky. So this one's the one I need to grab first if I grab it. So I'm putting that in the front. So yeah, Club Denny Wheat Intense for Man is another OTS fragrance. 
So, that's my three cheapy niche, a cheapy designer and niche fragrances for a fresh out the shower fragrance and an honorable mention. Now, I don't care if you do this tag video, you can do 10 fresh out the shower fragrances if you want. This is the four that I know for a fact in my life are the most and the best fresh out the shower fragrances that you, one can have. Longevity is is awesome. Actually, I think longevity on Club Denny Wheat for Intense for Man is beast mode. Longevity on on um, Black Gold, I think it's close to beast mode. Longevity on Dolce & Gabbana, if you put on clothes, is beast mode. Put on skin, it's not beast mode. And Vera Wang is just, um, it's good, all right? Doesn't last as long on skin. Um, I haven't tested it on clothes, but I don't think it lasts long on clothes either. So I give you a niche, a designer, and a cheapie. Actually, two cheapies, because this is a cheapie too. So those are my fragrances, man. Fresh out the shower. You can't beat it. So who am I going to tag? I'm going to tag Keith, Mr. Cheap Sense, or formerly known as Cheap Sense. Fragrant Life. That's his new channel. Kyle from the Fragrance Adventure. Why am I tagging Keith and Kyle? And I'll explain why I tag all these people. I, I tag Keith from a Fragrant Life because I know he has fragrances that are awesome fresh out the shower. Um, I'd like everyone to actually try to break it down to the, to the top three if you can. Top three fresh out the shower fragrances, maybe one honorable mention. That way we get a good idea of what we should purchase as a fresh out the shower fragrance, right? I want more fresh out the shower fragrances. I love fresh out the shower fragrances. I have another one, which is uh, Dior Home Cologne, which doesn't really last long. And it's a lemonade scent. I could have brought that up, but I already had a designer. So, and then um, Keith, he has a lot of freshies. He has a lot of fragrances in this collection. And I have Kyle from a fragrance adventure. Now, the reason why I'm tagging Kyle because he doesn't have a lot of subscribers, and I hope you guys go go subscribe to him. I'm starting to like Kyle a little bit more because his channel, he, the dude is just laid back. He's easy going, you know. So when my when my waves are, are rough and rugged, I watch Kyle and he calms me down. Kyle is just Kyle is just Kyle, man. And Kyle brings up some really interesting fragrances that I've never fucking heard of. You know, so that's why I'm tagging Kyle. And I hope you guys go watch him when, when your seas are rough and rugged. Maybe he'll calm your soul. You know, that's that's why I watch Kyle. I need somebody in this fragrance community to calm my soul somewhat a little bit. You know, because I'm always ready to go. I'm like a mad fucking dog. I'm ready to go. Um, so this is a Mr. Trey Sense. You know, Trey has been supporting me. And been commenting on a, pa a couple of my videos. So, hey, you know, um, not quid pro quo, but, you know, just, you know, reciprocating. That's all it is. I'm not gaining anything from this, and I'm pretty sure Trey isn't going to gain anything from this from me. So, it is what it is. Mr. Trey Sense, thank you for commenting and supporting some of the shit that I do. You know, just commenting on my videos and on my channel will get you hate from someone. It is what it is. So Trey isn't afraid to comment on my channel. And I appreciate that. I appreciate people who aren't afraid of truth. No matter what the masses say. So Mr. Trey Sense. And then Cedric C. This is me just showing love to Cedric C. He's a new fragrance reviewer. He has six subscribers. And I hope you guys give this dude a chance. Now I haven't seen his face. I've only seen his hands. and But that doesn't mean that the dude doesn't deserve any subscribers. So, you know, Cedric C., if you guys want to go check him out. Um, another person who is kind of laid back, and I like his style. He's a, he's a nice, calm gentleman. His name is Barry from Sensualize. Um, I like Barry. I like the new fragrances he's been bringing up. I haven't heard of or seen. And that's what I like to hear. And I like to see new shit. And I also like to, to um, tag Miss Jacqueline for... Um, for her four female fragrances, you know, because without the world, without females, what the hell would the world be? So, Miss Jacqueline, I like to tag you. And I'm going to tag one more person who has been in a lot of controversy, and I still welcome her 
to this fucking fragrance community, to my side, to to my world, and hopefully, Miss Sarah Harris, you do the tag. I given you one tag, and I welcome you. I said my piece. I hope you can respect it, and more women in this fragrance community isn't really a bad thing. All right. Uh, so I again I tag Miss Sarah Harris and anyone else who I forget. You know, just because I didn't mention your name, man, don't feel left out. Do the fucking tag. You do the tag, the more fucking people we get to connect with. And that's what it's about. Connecting with other people. Look, as harsh and as horrible and as vulgar as I sound, that's just who the fuck I am. If y'all don't like it, y'all don't have to watch my shit ever again. It is what it is. But if you like the truth, no matter how... how poignant I am and no matter how repugnant I am no matter how brutal I am you guys still watch my shit I appreciate you the truth is the truth you can't avoid it you can try to avoid it but it's still gonna hit home if you have any consciousness with you so this is my tag video it's your boy original dog man John Castro peace the hell out from three fragrances from the OTS. Peace out.